This is Tomo News for Wednesday, November 15th. The only way to fly. If you feel like showing everyone how annoyingly rich you are, Emirates has new Mercedes Benz S Class inspired first class private suites for its Boeing 777 aircraft. The new suites will offer up to 40 square feet of space per passenger and four to ceiling sliding doors. <laughs> And because they really need it, passengers will get a 32-inch HD TV, gourmet dining, mood lighting, and temperature control. The leather seats can recline all the way, be placed in a zero-gravity position, or adjusted into plenty of other custom positions for optimal comfort. Most suites with a window view will be provided with binoculars, while suites in the middle of the cabin have virtual windows, which project the view from the outside in real time. Emirates will also offer passengers a complimentary Benz chauffeur to their destination from the airport. The newly designed cabins are set to be introduced into Emirates fleet in December. Forced animal cars not safe for Facebook. These cool, yet pretty much typical Christmas cards were prohibited from sale on Facebook last month. Why were said cards blocked? Well, Scottish designer Jackie Charlie says Zuck's social media platform deem them to be of an adult nature. Remember, we're talking about these cards featuring these forest animals. Charlie said Facebook told her that they don't allow for the sale of adult items or services. Maybe the bot or human who blocked them has furrier tastes than the average bear. Facebook later apologized for the error and approved her post after becoming aware of the gaffe. But rather than stifle Charlie's business, it seems like she's going to be in for an extra busy festive period. News over Too Hot for Facebook Christmas cards has gone viral. Bill Gates' firm is planning a smart city in Arizona. Forget your smartphone, how about a smart city? A real estate investment firm owned by Bill Gates has invested 80 million U.S. dollars in a project to build a smart city called Belmont in the Arizona desert, 50 miles west of Phoenix. Belmont would be constructed on a flexible infrastructure model that can accommodate high-speed digital networks, data centers, advanced manufacturing, and distribution models. The smart city will have 3,800 acres for office, commercial, and retail space. 470 acres will be allotted for public schools. Belmont will also have 80,000 residential units. One of the reasons Belmont was chosen is its location next to the proposed Interstate 11 freeway. If completed, Interstate 11 would connect the Belmont area to Las Vegas. Australia votes yes to same-sex marriage. Eh, kinda. Getting with the times, Australia voted yes in a postal survey asking if the country should legalize same-sex marriage. Over 60% of Aussies voted for marriage equality, with all states and territories saying good day to the motion. The result is non-binding, so the government isn't required to act on it. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull calling the result a vote for fairness, but the opposition reckons the opposite. Free speech isn't protected down under, so the no side view the vote as a Trojan koala aimed at caging it. That's not how this works. In yet another instance of white nonsense, a Caucasian man from Florida came out as Filipino after insisting he's transracial. The term used to refer to the adoption of a child that's of a different race than the adoptive parents, but is now being brandished about by people who identify with another race or ethnicity. Jadu claims being around the music and the food and watching stuff about the Philippines made him feel Filipino. But inhaling factoids about the country and being able to scarf down balut and sweet spaghetti doesn't mean anything, except that you're a fan. And not a very good one, because the tuk-tuk you ride around in is not actually from the Philippines. It's from Thailand. So consider your application to be Filipino denied. That might be one down, but there's a whole Facebook page of white people who are appropriating some other culture in the name of self-identification. One licensed psychologist says people shouldn't take offense because it's harmless, and more or less equated identifying with a race to choosing a religion. The thing is, unless a black dude can get a cop to back off by claiming he identifies as white, this nonsense is not gonna fly. Y'all need to be slapped back to reality. <laughs> 